Welcome, Taurus, to your you versus them love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. All right, the deck has pre-shuffled. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords energy. All right, spying, looking at each other. Okay, so this is you, Taurus, and then I will put your person over here with the many light seers, okay? So your energy right now is in the recent past. You feel as though you are at a crossroads and you need to make a decision about what direction you want to take in your life. We get the Page of Pentacles. You definitely are looking for an opportunity that can grow. The way you are really thinking about the future with your person of interest is that you want someone who's going to give to the relationship. How you view the other person is the lover's card. So red hot smoking lover's card. Very passionate, very beautiful, soul connection. How you feel in your heart space, Taurus? The Seven of Swords. Okay, that's not a good feeling. Taurus, what's going on here? The Seven of Swords really tells me that you are, in your heart space, you really feel like there are lies, deception, things going on. That is a very unhappy feeling in a relationship. You feel like you have to do surveillance on the other person. You feel as though you feel really unsafe. But it also says Seven of Swords energy, if that's what's in your heart, you're willing, you know, you have some willingness here to, um, to cut the other person out. I mean, the Seven of Swords energy says that you want what you want in a relationship. And it's almost like the Queen of Swords energy is the way I'm reading this. It's almost like in your heart space, if you can't get what you want, and it seems like a struggle, that you would leave the relationship with this person. I feel like this being in the heart space, knives in the heart space of how you feel for them, I think they've really hurt you. I feel that you are angry, you are upset, you are not being very honest maybe with yourself or with the other person. It's really a tough energy for heart space energy. That's like, you know, heart surgery for heaven's sakes. Okay, so Taurus, we have... How you view your life going forward. King and Nine of Wands. You don't see the relationship moving forward. You feel as though you might be with a player. That's how you view them. That you feel like, you know, you want them to give to the relationship and you feel that they are in and out with you, that they are not consistent. What's hidden in your energy is a star card. You really love this person. It really speaks to the fact that you feel as though they were the person for the rest of your life. Uh, the star card is a very spiritual, beautiful energy. It is hopes and dreams for love coming true. You feel as though this person had the greatest potential of anyone in your life. What's Spirit recommending? Spirit says you need to heal your heart. I would say Spirit is also telling you that you are still wounded from wounds of the past, from difficulties of the past, which you may need to heal right now because that's what the recommendation is. What's the outcome for the short term of this relationship? The Ace of Cups. You do want to give it another chance. You want to rebirth the relationship energy here. Let's look and see, Taurus, what your person is feeling for you. Okay, let's see what the energy is for your person. There is an extended link below for those of you who would like to delve into the energies more deeply. Let's see what their overall energy is. Ooh, Seven of Swords, look at this. This is crazy. Okay, so both of you are being dishonest with one another. Okay, so there's a lot going on here underneath the service. There's covert activity very much okay so your person in the past really felt as though they wanted their foundation with you your person feels very committed to you they they love you they definitely want a future with you right now they're trying to be cool calm and collected and look at things from an intellectual perspective they're trying very much to weigh out their emotions they're trying to be strategic how they view the situation with you currently. Page of Swords, they are going to be checking you out on the internet. They would probably be watching your internet activity. They are looking to see, they're looking for clues because Gemini is kind of the detective. I spy Gemini, that sort of energy. 
So what we have here is in terms of how they view you. They view you. Look at this. They view you as a star. What's hidden in your energy, Taurus, is a star. But they really, really do see you as a rock star in love. How they feel in their heart space. World card. They do feel as though they wanted to make a go of it with you. Like, you know, world card would be like, Till, till death do us part sort of energy, quote unquote. You know, everybody talks about that's just a cycle ending in another beginning, but your person really in their heart space wanted to have great success with you. They wanted you to be able to go to the next level because the world card is the most successful card in the deck. It's a fool's journey completed, ready to go for a whole new journey, which to me, your person was actually thinking that, you know, you might marry. How do they view the situation with you right now in terms of moving forward? They feel as though you owe them, owe them an apology. They feel very sad. They feel like they gave a lot to this relationship. The Five of Cups, though, is a deceiving card because it shows that your person is thinking about this in very negative terms. There's a lot, you know, there's two cups left here. So you have the ability to begin again, but your person's very focused on how sad they are, the disappointments of the relationship. It's not a very hopeful card, right, at the end of the day. What's hidden in their energy towards you is a very romantic Knight of Cups. They would love to tell you that they love you. They want, your person really wants romance, and that is so important. They want romance. They want stability. They want a spiritual connection. They want something that can go the distance. The Two of Cups is what Spirit is uh, advising your person is to honor the love, commitment, and relationship between the two of you. And the outcome at this time, Taurus, look at, there you are, the Taurus King right there in the reading. They do see you as their future. You know, right now, your person's not going to go anywhere. I mean, I see this person really invested in you in the relationship. Um, I don't really see your person wanting to leave. They're very sad. They do think that you owe them an apology, most likely. So that is interesting. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards for you. Let's see here what we have. Look at this energy. That Seven of Swords is just, that's crazy. So let's go ahead and clarify that Seven of Swords. I'm going to do it with this, the, this deck of cards, which is Dreaming Way Tarot. The Seven of Swords is clarified by the Page of Cups. Tell us more about the Seven of Swords. Since both of you had this energy, I'm going to do the sidebar reading. Both of you want to move forward in the relationship. Both of you feel like it's become too burdensome. Both of you feel like you've stabbed each other in the back. The Page of Cups in this particular instance tells me that both of you feel like the other person is immature too. Okay. We also see the King of Cups energy. So the King of Cups energy is you're not really being, um, you've both been through the mill. You've both weathered a lot of storms in your life in the love department. You both want a victory with each other. So this is mutual energy between the two of you, Taurus. Okay, so you both want this energy. This is what you're hiding. This is what is hidden for both of you. This is, you feel it, Taurus, in your heart space. It's very palpable for you. But for your person, it's the undercurrent that's going on. The overall energy is the Seven of Swords for them. And the Three of Wands. Both of you want to see each other as your ship has come in. All right. So what, what you want and what the two of you are doing is different. This relationship looks like it could have great potential, but I really feel as though you're going to need to get some sort of coaching or uh, you love each other so deeply and yet you, you really hurt each other. That's what it looks like. Sadness, sadness, old wounds. Okay, so enough of that. We will go into more of this stuff in the extended, but um, for now we're going to pick up those cards. Okay. So, let's look and see what the Two of Wands is. Taurus, what do you see as a crossroads that you're facing in this relationship? What do you see as the crossroads that you have to look at in the recent past in this relationship? What is this energy for you? 
the judgment card. You feel as though you have to make a decision about whether you stay or whether you go. Why is the page of pentacles here? Knight of wands energy. Look at you. That's player energy on your part, Taurus. That's energy that says that you just, you know, you'd like to maybe even date somebody who's younger or you want to make an offer to someone else. What is it that you want to give to, Taurus? What is it that you want to give to? You're being tempted right now out of this relationship, and that's what that energy is. You are very much being tempted. The King of Cups energy, we just saw that energy. So the King of Cups says that you're willing to weather the storm in the current relationship, but you want more from the relationship. But you are distracted by somebody else, somebody that you knew from the past. Look at, you're looking backwards. So, you know, leave comments because, you know, it's a general reading, so every card won't apply. Take what's yours, leave the rest. Like a buffet table, you don't, you know, you don't toss the table because everything doesn't fit. All right, so we have the energy with the Lover's card of the Emperor card. So Taurus, you feel very much in the energy that when you, you know, how your person views you, how you view your person is, you're kind of dictatorial. Oh, I don't want to say it that way, but the King of the Emperor card, nobody should be the ruler, right? The Emperor is a ruler of society. It's like the judge in the courtroom who imposes rules. So you may feel like your lover is doing that. You may be doing it unconsciously. But it does. The Emperor card with the Lover's card is definitely, it's Aries energy, but it definitely is not compatible with lovers, right? This is a person who's off alone thinking about, well, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? How am I going to get it? So it's, it's, a, it's, you know, the Emperor is literally a dictator. Nobody rules over the emperor except the empress. And she doesn't rule the kingdom. She rules the home life. All right. So why is the seven of swords here? Three of pentacles. You know, this three of pentacles is so interesting. It's so different. It shows that you are needlessly throwing away or tempted to throw away something, a relationship of great value because you don't value it enough. Okay, the Seven of Cups energy with the player. You're keeping your options open. Taurus, Taurus. Okay, well, you know, you get to do what you want. I mean, at the end of the day, no shade. The Queen of Pentacles energy says that you do think that your person's a wonderful, a wonderful, nurturing soul, that that's hidden, that this person may be the best person you've ever been with. You know, other people in your life might have been more difficult to deal with. But the Five of Wands is telling us that there's a lot of conflict, a lot of ego-driven conflict, conflict in the relationship. And the Ace of Swords says that you know that maybe, you know, you just want new love. So Taurus, I really feel that you're being quite tempted. You really love your person. You really think they're wonderful. The sex is great. But boy, oh boy, why are you in this energy? The Nine of Wands here twice for you, for your person. I mean, you either, I think both of you are, are looking outside the relationship and being tempted. And yet, you have all this love for each other. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Four of Wands for your love interest, the Four of Wands. What is the Four of Wands here? Please tell us about the Four of Wands. The stability, a marriage-like relationship in the recent past is what your person has really wanted and had. The Seven of Cups, see, they don't even, they're not believing in the relationship currently. Your person is feeling as though, you know, there's, you both kept your options open or you both thought about other people or where they wanted stability with you. What they really got was a sense about the relationship that, you know, you're not where you need to be in this relationship. What your person wanted is maybe just the Seven of Cups is both of you keeping your option open in the recent past. So it's like the communication is not good. Okay, so why is the King of Swords here for this relationship? How they view the situation currently, their energy towards you, Taurus. What is their energy towards you? It's a, what's a clarifier for the King of Swords energy? 
magician card. You know, normally I really like the magician card, but right next to the Seven of Cups, it is upright, but it tells me that there's secrecy here. And with that double Seven of Swords, I feel as though your person, Taurus, may not be forthright. They're trying to manifest something. Let's see. What are they trying to manifest with you? So your person's trying. Oh, they want growth. Okay. So I would say your person wants growth with you. Okay. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is it? Why the Internet I Spy Gemini card? The Eight of Swords, they don't like what they see. They don't want to deal with what they see. They don't want to deal with their fears. They don't want to deal with what they see. The energy, Taurus, that you have with the, the dreaming card, the hopes and dreams for love come true. Your person really wants somebody who's very hot, who's very passionate. We also got the Wheel of Fortune. Your person wants destiny to turn in their favor. They also feel like if the cycle's over, they're really hoping for something better. But they're willing to let this go. Your person's willing to let this go, Taurus. So why do we have the Five of Cups here for their energy? There we go. There's the Taurus King again. Look at that. King of Pentacles twice. Two Taurus energies. Your person really wants you. They want you. You, they see you as their outcome. Why do we have the Knight of Cups? Wow, this is really intense energy. Your person's bored. They want more romance. Why is the Two of Cups here for what Spirit is recommending or the advice from Spirit? You need to take... Well, right, wow. Spirit is saying start something new for your person. Your person is being told by spirit to maybe either start this relationship again, take the leap of faith, come into it very innocently. Um, so spirit is saying that your person really should take the leap of faith, that maybe they have to, you know, come into the relationship sort of with a more innocent view of the relationship. But it also says a new beginning. You know, this is like taking the risk with somebody else for a relationship. So, Spirit, what do you think they should do with this Taurus relationship? What is the advice for Taurus's person with them? Okay, with them specifically. Nine of Swords. A lot of stress. A lot of stress, remorse, regret. What does Spirit recommend for force this person to do with their relationship specifically keep fire in your belly still try to work things out try to have a new beginning and there we go look at this so your outcome card is clarified by the knight of the king of swords the king of swords being very intellectual being very cool almost cold this is a really aloof energy for love and the death card so I would say that somebody's going to be very cold and cut the other one out. I mean, that's what I'm getting, though. But I'm getting, Taurus, this is your person, this is you. But, you know, neither one of you really want the relationship to be over. You have all of this love energy, passionate energy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the extended, and we're going to really look at this somewhat differently. We're going to really look at, I'm going to do a whole new set sets of cards here and we're going to really look and see why there's all this sort of player energy although there's great love like what are the actual problems here what is preventing this relationship from working this whole idea though it like it's almost like both of you really love each other and yet you don't have any faith in the relationship though you should you should have a lot of faith in this relationship and yet I don't think either of you feel that way. So I'm going to leave it there, Tor uh, Taurus. We're going to go to the extended if you want to join me there. Great. And if not, hope to see you in another reading. And thank you so much. Take care. Please, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much, Taurus.